It's Saturday. It's currently six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to get some Relentless or something to keep me going. Um, and then we're off to Shaftesbury, that sort of area anyway, to go and film Mogridges on whole crop that they're cutting today. Fire balloon up in the sky there. You know it's going to be a good day. So I've made it. I'm here in the field now. Uh, they've just done one plow. As you can see, they've cut one piece. Already out here, just met the guys quickly. Um, they're up around the corner here at the moment, so I'm just hanging around waiting for them to come back. Uh, so filming wise, what I tend to do is uh, while they're doing what we call the headland, so around the outside, they'll do a couple of passes around the outside first. And uh, while they're doing that, I'll do a lot of like handheld video bits and pieces. So with this DJI uh, Osmo action that I'm filming on right now, um, I also use down here, I've got my Canon RP mounted on a Ronin M. Um, that I use for like cinematic shots and bits and pieces as they're coming round. Um, do a lot of handheld stuff with that mainly. Uh, I've also got sat over there a uh, Insta360 One X2 um, that I use for odd bits and pieces. I tend to strap that to the machines quite a lot. It's a nice easy way of getting loads of different shots and only interfering with the driver for one moment quickly because they've got a job to do um, and I don't want to get in the way too much so that's brilliant for that sort of thing. When they come round again I'll get some more shots um, and then when they actually start cutting into the actual field so they'll go up and down through the middle of the field when they start doing that that's when I tend to get the drone out it's a lot safer then I haven't got I'm not flying around the outside making lots of corners and bits and pieces where there's wires and bits and pieces up in the sky that could potentially take me out um, and I know that they're which direction they're going to be traveling in so it's it's a lot easier to predict where the drone's going to be where they're going to be and uh, we don't have as many accidents, which is exactly what we want. As you can see, they've just gone on round behind me again. So they've gone round the headland now three times. I expect they'll start cutting into the middle of the field now. So it's time to put all the other cameras back down and uh, send the drone up, I think, once they get back round. I'll get one more pass of them when they come round and then I'll uh, send the drone up. Have a look what's going on. It's getting really hot already out here. Um, someone wants to bring some ice creams actually don't worry by the time this is posted it'll be Sunday at least and it'll be a bit late by then right let's get to it So we're back at the plant now, and uh, we've got trailers coming in. There's one waiting to tip, and then Will on the Volvo up there pushing everything back up into the pit. Then we got a vent over here on standby, and once it's all been pushed up, he's going to roll the pit and squash it all. to uh, be covered over. Uh, yeah, so finished at Mogridge. Uh, on my way back, I just picked up these with Juicy on them and on the back. Ready for uh, 
the event tomorrow. Let's get rid of that. That's all ready for tomorrow. So big thanks to Mogridge for letting me come film again. Brilliant team over there. Um, check out the video when it's up. It'll be on my page, Juicy Agriculture. Um, that's on Facebook and on YouTube. Let's have a look for it if you're not following already. Um, and now I'm going to head on back, go and charge all my batteries up ready for tomorrow, wipe a load of memory cards, and uh, get editing this video as well. Um, let me know what you want to see next. The next um, video will be tomorrow, um, and it will be a BHP showdown in Exeter, and everything that goes on with that. So looking forward to you coming along and watching that with me. Cheers.